are seeing and hearing those panicked students inside an out of control school bus in Sutton. Icy roads would just not allow that bus to get up a hill. 20 students were on board when the bus lost traction, sliding back down, as you see, taking out a mailbox and hitting another car. And we're hearing from the students on board that bus. They're talking about those scary moments and the calm driver who is behind the wheel. WBC's Ken McLeod is live tonight in Sutton with the new details here at 8. Ken? Liam, when your mailbox looks like this in January, the plow truck is often to blame, but this morning it was the school bus, and that's really barely a sliver of this story. <laughs> this is the view from a runaway school bus with 20 kids on board, including Ryan Saronic. We just start spinning, and we just go backwards, and people are screaming. There's a lot of frantic, what's going to happen to us? It was just after 7 this morning when the Sutton school superintendent gave buses the green light, knowing salt trucks had already been on the road for an hour to deal with the flash freeze. Trouble is, the bus beat the trucks to steep Peachtree Drive. Everyone was scared, screaming, and didn't know what to do. Matthew Graves was aboard when the bus began sliding and spinning on the pavement turned ice rink. And a friend's mother shot this video as the bus took out mailboxes. Oh my God! I knew that there might have been patches of ice this morning, but I really didn't think that the road was a solid sheet of ice. I thought it was going to flip over actually because we hit a few mailboxes. Kids say the bus driver battled the wheel with little success. He eventually just put it in park and held on. No kids were hurt, but many believe some would have been had the sideways sliding bus not hit a car, abandoned moments earlier when its driver couldn't get up the icy hill. It saved us from really rolling over and crashing. People could have gotten really seriously injured. What these kids and their parents know for sure is that they'll never have another school bus ride like this morning's. They probably will end up being pretty boring. Most parents I've spoken with are writing this off as a freak event, not anyone's fault. But the school superintendent and the DPW are pledging better communication in the future to make sure which streets have been sanded before the school buses get there. Live in Sutton tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News. And of course.